Hi, this is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice, and today I'm going to show you how to make a surface shiny through reflection through ray trace. Um, it's pretty simple, only take a few minutes, but again, like with so many things in Dawes Studio, if you don't know what you're doing, it can take you a long time to figure it out. So I've got a deck here, and I've already rendered it out using um, some advanced lights, and you can see it looks pretty good, but it also looks very plasticky. It looks like a toy model. So a quick and easy way, if I'm willing to increase my render times by a little bit, is to change that surface and put a ray trace on it. So I'm going to hit the surface selection. I'm going to select the floor. So this floor right here. Now I'm going to go to Windows, Panels, Shader Mixer. Okay. Then I'm going to go to File, Import from Scene, Accept. I know I have it because it's Floor 1. And I'm going to zoom in down here. This is the panel that I want to use. This is my base part. I right click in an open area, Insert, Bricks. Function, Lighting, Ray Trace, Reflect, and Refract. That brings in a new panel, see? And I do Reflective Color. I left click on the C. I drag it down to Reflective Color in my main panel. And then I hit Apply. And that's all I have to do. It's loading. And now when I render it out, so when I render it out, then you can see that it is reflecting all of the items around it. It makes it look glossy and polished, and it adds considerable dimensions and interest to this scene. Um, that's really all I can, I'm going to show you today. You can do this to just about any object, play around with it, have fun with it. It's easy, it's simple. Um, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, put in the comments sections what other things you would like to learn. Thank you for your views, thank you for subscribing. This is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice. Be at peace.